Is Bill O'Neill currently the greatest bowler in the world? Last year was a breakout season for Billy O, when he finally captured his first PBA Tour title at the 2009 World Series of Bowling. I told you guys at home I'd get one. I told you. And then brought home one of bowling's most elusive prizes, the U.S. Open. After dominating this summer on the international scene, O'Neill is back on the Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour, one of the forces to be reckoned with in the Viper Championship at this year's World Series of Bowling. Is Bill O'Neill really the real deal? The Pepsi Viper Championship is next. Over 250 professional bowlers from 14 different countries, bowling on five different oil patterns, have invaded Las Vegas to be part of an event unlike any other in sports. The PBA World Series of Bowling. It's the ultimate test. Six PBA Tour titles all decided in a five-man stepladder format with an uninterrupted championship match each week. It all leads up to the main event. January's PBA World Championship, the first major of the season. It's the PBA versus the rest of the world. And it all continues now. For the second straight Sunday, the PBA comes your way from the South Point Hotel and Casino right here in Las Vegas. Today, it is the second event of the season opening World Series of Bowling. We welcome you to the Pepsi Viper Championship. Rob Stone, 13-time titleist, Randy Peterson with you. Kimberly Pressler will join us momentarily. Thus far through this edition of the World Series of Bowling, we've seen kind of two themes emerge. Both of them happen to be on display this afternoon. The first, Randy, being the abundance of international talent out here. You're right, Rob. 43 international players at the World Series representing 14 different countries. And you're going to see two of them today, starting with Hall of Famer from Barquisimeto, Venezuela, Amleto Monicelli. And our number one seed from Bogota, Colombia, Andres Gomez. You know, Andres has never made a telecast here in the U.S., but he's got a lot of international experience. We'll see how it pays off today. The other theme being the power game, and that one represented by maybe the next great American talent, Bill O'Neill. Yeah, he's really arrived. And, you know, it started with the, the win at last year's U.S. Open, and you could just see it coming. I mean, he was making a lot of shows, then he figured out how to win, then he figured out how to, to win a major. But let's not forget the other power player on this telecast, and Tommy Jones, a former player of the year. And I think power reigned supreme this week on the Viper oil pattern, because as the lanes broke down, the power players could move in, create more angle, and actually make the lanes a little bit softer. Our first match just happens to be a rematch from last year's World Series of Bowling, and Kimberly, it was one that neither O'Neill or Monticelli will soon forget. That's right, Rob, because at last year's World Series of Bowling, Anleto Monticelli and Bill O'Neill went on and met up at the Chameleon Championships. Unfortunately, an arm injury to Anleto crippled his chance up against O'Neill, who went on to win his first ever PBA Tour title. That match was really hard for me to bowl Anleto when he was hurt. Um, he's a guy that, that I idolized growing up, and it was just kind of an honor to get to bowl him on TV. Um, but, you know, when he was hurt, it just kind of took away from him a little bit. It was bad. It was, I mean, that, I, I would say that was one of my worst experiences, you know, to bowl a TV show like that, you know. And it's just, my mind was into my, the pain, you know. I, I couldn't really think, what, you know, what I could do, what can, you know. If I was healthy, wow, I mean, 80% I got a chance to win that tournament, definitely, because uh, I, I know I, I know how to I know what to do. I just couldn't do it. You know, mm. just Come on. It. I was just hoping that, he, that you know that we can just go out and, and, and have a better better go at it this, this time. Because uh, last time, I mean, I bowled 170, he bowled 140, so that's not good TV. Here's Mike J laying side with the introduction. The number five qualifier owns 19 PBA Tour titles from Barquisimeto, Venezuela. PBA Hall of Famer, numero cero, Amleto Monticelli. Randy, say his hometown for me again. I really like the way he said it in rehearsal. Barquisimeto. It's wonderful. What a great talent he is. And let me tell you, that guy takes care of himself. 49 years old. Mm -mm. That's not what I would have guessed. Yeah, Amleto's in great shape, and he's always kept himself in great shape, and that's... Uh, obviously what you can attribute to is longevity. 
19 career tour titles, looking for number 20 today. And Rob, I think it was real interesting when we were speaking with him during our interview, how excited he, he actually sounded to be back out here, bowling on the telecast, bowling in the championship uh, round, and, and you could really see it and sense that, that uh, it's almost like he's rejuvenated. Jason Belmonte telling us how impressed he was by Amleto's reaction that he made the TV show. He said, man, that guy still got it, made, it inspired me. Now, the introduction of our four seed, Bill O'Neill. The number four player owns a pair of PBA tour titles, including one major from Southampton, PA, the real deal, Bill O'Neill. For years, the, the title of uh, best American player, Walter A. Williams Jr., Norm Duke, you a little younger, the West Malats, the TJs, the Chris Barnes, this guy now belongs in that conversation. Just two tour titles, both of them coming last season on that list, the 2010 U.S. Open that he won. Well, and you're right, Rob. Everything that you said about Bill O'Neill and the level that he's taken his game, he's really figured it out. He's figured it out mentally. Here's O'Neill, spare conversion. Takes care of that. O'Neill, second to Walter Ray Williams Jr. last season's Point list. And here's his arsenal today, Randy. Oh, a little taboo. Strongest bowling ball in his arsenal that he brought out today. He's trying to get something to just roll real smooth off the end of the pattern, pick up the middle part of the lane. In there, Bill. Our first strike of the afternoon. You know, he finished last season tied with Walter A. Williams Jr. and Mike Scroggins in the Player of the Year points list, lost the tiebreaker off season points to Williams Jr. Take a look at that taboo, the rotation. And you know, the scary part about O'Neill now, Rob, is he, he's starting to look real comfortable on television. Mm. Scary combination. Monicelli in his 95th singles television appearance. He's comfortable. but still seeking his first strike today. What are you seeing early from him? Well, this looks like it's a little soft out of his hand and you're gonna watch too much down lane reaction. You see him get to the break point pretty well, but just comes off of the spot too hard and goes right through the nose. So an open frame for Amleto in the second. So, Rob, I, I know you've got a lot of experience when it comes to soccer. Explain the You want Amleto's the jersey. jersey. You like the jersey? It's the black and the red of AC Milan, one of his favorite soccer teams over there in Italy. As we take a look at Monicelli's Arsenal, Arsenal also being a football club over in England. That's true. It tremendous. all comes together. Amleto throwing the anarchy, going with lots and lots of power, just like Bill O'Neill in the taboo. Off the open frame in the second, Monicelli to open the third. Still in search of a strike. Okay, move a little more left. Well, in case you didn't understand what he, what he just said. I understood it. I'll fine. translate it in English for you. He said he's just going to move a little <laughs> bit more left. Thank goodness we have the bilingual Randy Peterson here. Okay. I'm actually surprised he said that in English, because normally on, on the telecast, Emleto never speaks English. It's always in Spanish or sometimes Italian. 4-7, go into the pit. And Leto will take a seat. When we return, we'll tell you about Bill O'Neill's Estes Awards experience and have the conclusion of his opening match with Monicelli.